Hi guys, I'm back. Have coffee with me. So today I'm doing an acrylic pour and it's going to be on an old record player. What I've been doing is I went to the thrift shop and I've been buying these old records and the, even the 78s and the 45s and I've been priming them on one side and I'm going to paint the other. So this one I just <clears throat> excuse me, primed with uh, some gloss medium or matte medium, I'm sorry. And the other side, this other one I primed with some white gesso. And then I actually went as far as uh, being the silly little brought out the kid in me. Went and bought one of those, let me get it. Um, one of these pottery wheels at Walmart like this um, for 20 bucks. And I can... Uh, put the record on that and then spin it and even make some spin art that's on a record and I seen someone do this on YouTube and they actually um, made clocks out of them so it's really cool they put this really cool design on there and then they used the hole in the middle for a clock and then they had like an art show and uh, did that so that was really cool you guys so anyway let's have some coffee and I'm going to um, shut the camera off real quick while I mix up my paints and I'll see you in a minute. Here's today's mix. I have a my chocolate bar and then I have the darker burnt umber. I have a turquoise but I also mix the turquoise color with the uh, Liquitex a transparent hue because I find that getting cells out of your work um, you kind of kind of need you really kind of need this a uh, transparent paint in one way or another you have to have at least one transparent paint in your mix and then I also found that when I did you didn't use a transparent mix that I got some cells but they weren't the cells that I really wanted I didn't expect a, a bunch of tiny little dots so I kind of like bigger cells I'm still experimenting y'all so we'll see if you guys want to um experiment and do some stuff post it and or ask me questions I'll be glad to help you out and this is just white and then of course I added my Floetrol a spoonful of each in these these are the tiny cups and my silicone and of course um, squirts of water to make it the consistency of honey so like I said before you have to uh, hold it from the side and you kind of see how it just drips off this little stir stick that's the consistency that you want. And then when I'm done with the pour, I also have a metallic brown. It's like a little bronze. And I'm going to make like a little, some little flowers on there. And um, I'll show you how I do that. So these are the tools that I'll be using today. I can get the uh, metallic out with the eyedropper. And then I take this tiny little pointer and then I run it along the edge. And it makes a little flower design. It's really kind of cool. Okay. Everybody, about ready to get started, but I did want to go over a couple things really quick. I got all my paint mixed in the cup and gave it one swirl. And what I wanted to say that um, first off, this uh, what I talked about earlier, the uh, transparent paint. I have um, created cells with and without it, and I've heard a lot of mixed things. So, like I said, this is all just kind of experiments stuff that I'm doing. It's not the normal painting that I do, and so I'm really liking the acrylic pours and the um, drop cups and stuff, so I like doing this kind of painting because sometimes with when I paint my cheetahs and horses and stuff, it's really time-consuming because I have a busy life, and it's kind of hard to do that, and then people, you know, ask me to paint them something, and it takes me like three weeks to do it. So with my education, I much prefer to show you guys how to do it, and you could you actually make your own artwork and it's a lot of fun be creative and you'll be proud of yourself and we can make beautiful art together okay the second thing I wanted to talk to about was this and this is that bronze metallic stuff that I put in this cup because I was going to make the flowers with that but I decided that it's too dark and it blends in with the chocolates that I have for this next piece so I decided to put a gold metallic in the cup and I'm going to use that with the eyedropper and the little um, rubber pointer that I have to make the flowers. So I gessoed um, this plate and it's almost dry, uh, the record plate, 
and so we will paint on top of that as soon as the gesso dries and I've decided not to use that little spin thing that I bought that little pottery wheel I'm not quite ready for that yet I need to I want to experiment a little bit with that and I'll show you guys that experiment but this piece is actually a birthday gift so I don't want to experiment on the birthday gift okay this is the gesso is dry now and we're ready for our pour or flip cup haven't decided um, I want to thank you guys today for joining me at my art table and having coffee with me. Let's have a little fun. I think we'll flip this. The cup on. Flip it. Cover my edges a little. There. It's pretty. I can see some cells coming out. It's turning out really nicely, you guys. Nice and swirly. And we can hit this with the blowtorch, too. We'll get that. Let's spread some of these cells around. Look how pretty that is on the table. Sometimes I love the runoff. I like to try to catch it in a cup and use it <laughs> to cover a certain area. Trying to keep this in the camera. It's so hard when I pick it up and do that because I can't keep it in the camera. But I'm going to grab a little scooper that I have. And we can scoop some up off this table and pour it onto here, like so. Try to scrape out what I have in there. Actually put a few ribbons in here, even though I am going to spread that down. I hope you guys try this because it's a lot of fun. It's really relaxing. You find your Zen zone. I'll bring it on down here. Trying to keep it in the camera, you guys. So I'm going to take some of the stick, scoop some stuff up out of the stick, put it on there. A lot of times I can do a swipe, and we'll talk about that in another video. Sometimes the swiping is really pretty, and I'll bring out like a little French garden with all kinds of really cool colors when you swipe. Never painted on a record before, so I see that I'm getting some, uh, it kind of wraps itself around that hole, and then I lost some of the um, color that I was looking for. I do want to add a little more turquoise. Now I can do that, even though I don't have the mix, and it's not mixed in with flow Troll, I'll take regular turquoise paint, and I'm going to do like a little bit of a, uh, drawing on there like that and spread that around. You don't want to get your colors muddy, so like if you have a stir stick, you don't want to use the same one. You kind of want to just pat it in there and then flip it over, kind of spread it around a little bit because you're going to get a real muddy colors. And then we'll try to drip a little bit get it to move down this painting help it along this will be real pretty once you get some resin on here you get some of that a little gloss on there I think it's turned out really nice now in other videos I'll go ahead and um, show a final product but for now I'm going to try to torch this and then I'll put this up on YouTube for you guys. Let's see if we can get any more cells or not.
Let's see. I'm popping air bubbles. I'm not getting too many more cells out of this. I just seem to be popping the bubbles, which is something I really want to do. All right, let me take you guys down there, get some close-ups. Some of these cells turned out pretty good. Sometimes it, look at that, that's on the table. That's kind of pretty there, if I can get this in focus. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I think it turned out pretty good. I wanted to add the uh, little droplets of this gold. So I'll show you how that's going to work. Let's see. Let's try it over here. Okay, I put five drops of the gold metallic. I'm going to take my little rubber pointer. And I'm going to swirl it right through there. Let's start right here. Creates little flower designs. Oops, I'm bumping the camera, you guys. I haven't figured this out yet. I also wanted to tell you guys that, like, um, I have by Facebook, and but I usually just use Facebook for, like, keeping in touch with my grandkids, trying to figure out where everybody is, more family-oriented there. And I have a uh, Instagram account, but I just post the work that's done, like it's finished. I don't do any instructional tutorials on there. And to be honest with you, I'm just busy living my life. I can't do, I don't want to do all these different, uh, different uh, social media things. I just enjoy YouTube and I enjoy what I'm doing. And I don't really have time to cater to some of that other stuff. This is turning out nice, you guys. We're going to have these little gold flower leafy things around the record. I noticed that some of this gold is creating a bubble, but it's actually able to pop itself. And then the paint will kind of mix in, too, so it won't be all... Uh... not flowery looking. So sometimes where the paint is really thick, right here, you can see where the uh, flowers are kind of uh, blending in with the paint. And go over it again, make sure we get it thick there because I see some bubbles. It'll be just fine. Bubbles. It's more like a uh, stems and not as much of the flower look. Let's do another one. Running on my gold here.
I should have mixed, uh, I didn't mix any flow troll or anything in with this gold. That's why it's very stiff on me, stiffen up on me. So. swirls in there. All right, you guys, I think we're about done here with this. some gold in there. Looks pretty. I think it turned out very nice. All right, everybody. I'll post this later. Um, I'll get this up on YouTube, but then I'll post the final product after I glaze it on another video. Bye, YouTube. Bye, you guys.